Thanks for staying with us. Join us on the show now is the Managing Director, CEO of the Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority. That's Lamata Engineer, Mrs. Abimbola Akeojo. Welcome to the show. Very She'll much. be speaking on how her agency is implementing the State Strategic Transport Master Plan, which has six rail lines, one monorail, 14 BRT corridors, and over 20 water roads. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to have this conversation because we hear a blue line, red line, yellow line, pink line. We don't even know what it means. Mm -hmm. There's no pink. I know, I'm just saying. I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> just saying you know, being facetious. So we, I need, we need a clarity on that. Mm -hmm. and, and then, well, I'll come to the waterways because I'm really, really particular about the waterways. But let us start with what is all these lines colors. and where are, they, where are they starting and ending? How many are they? First? And when is this going to start, Seth? And where are the colors? Okay, so thank you very much for having me. And I am always glad to come and talk about the rail lines because yeah. it's something that Lamata is very, very, very very, very proud to be doing. The okay. Lagos State Government is pushing yes. that we have railway in Lagos. And we must also note that Lagos will be the only subnational that would have built a rail line mm. anywhere mm. because it is usually in the purview of a, 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 a country's yeah. um, bucket of things to do. So what, what do we have? Right now we're building the blue and we're building the red. So the blue line, you ask where, where they're starting and where they end. Yeah. So the blue line, for instance, starts from Okokumaiko and it goes all the way to Marina. If you know that corridor, you can think about the traffic that sits there right. on a regular basis. Okay. So when we are able to transport people on mass, mass transportation, we will ease transportation or traffic in that area. Um, when is it starting, sorry? So we will complete all infrastructure by the end of this year. Oh. We will begin testing and commissioning from January. Okay. So by the first quarter of 2023, we will have passenger operations. Oh, fantastic. On the so we've done blue. Next one. So we're also doing red at the moment. Red, okay. And red is going from uh, Agbadu all the way to Marina. That's the full length of it. So let me go back to the blue line. In building any rail system, you would start them and do them in phases. So when we say that the blue line goes from Okokomaiko all the way to Marina, the first phase is only what we're building at the moment, and that first phase is from Mal 2 to Marina, mm -hmm. which is about half of what it is, of okay. what the full length will be. Okay. So we will be doing the uh, commissioning of the Mal 2 to Marina, Marina. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what the blue line is, just to clear the air so yeah. that we don't... So Okokomaiko will start sometime Thank later? For yes. Doing oh, fantastic. So, so Okokomaiko will start... Mm -hmm. After we have completed the blue, we have tested, we have started to operate okay. the first phase of it. Now, this is a normal thing. Nowhere in the world would you build a 27-kilometer railway in one go. Yeah. Okay. Usually, you would do it in phases. phases. And in fairness, Lamata has been saying this till we're blue in the face, that we're building it <laughs> in phases. Everything that we say, we have never claimed that we're building from Okokomaiko to Marina. We have always claimed that we're building from mile two to Marina. For now. Okay. Okay. Now, going to the red line is the same. So the red line is a 37 kilometer rail that goes from Agbadu all the way to Marina. Well, yet again, we're doing the it's first amazing. phase of it. Okay. And that would be from Agbadu all the way to Oingu. Okay. That is the first phase and that's what we're building now. Now what we're doing is, um, the uh, governor, when he came in, looked at it, and the government has been looking at the red line. In fairness, red line is probably one of the most lucrative lines in terms of ridership. Okay. When you look at that corridor, that is the one that probably has the highest uh, demand. So is that why it's a red line? Because it has a lot of um, do, um, co um, commuters or... I wish I could agree with you, but no. no we okay. just chose random people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> random colors. <laughs> okay. So the thing for it is that... In starting, one of the things, when you say La Mata, we are uh, the metropolitan area. We mm -hmm. are planning transportation for the metropolitan area. And one thing Lagos is doing now is that we're recognizing the suburbia of Lagos. And that extends into Ogun State. Mm. So some would say Agbado actually is in Ogun State. Mm. But we know that a lot of people come from there mm. into Lagos. Yes. And that's why this line has gone all the way mm. into Agbado. So Agbado to Yingbo will definitely start from first quarter next year. Definitely. Others will then come in as, as you as, go. Yes. Okay, so when they now arrive, sorry, sorry Nima. So I, I take that, that train. When I get to Marina, what happens? Is there, is there a BRT waiting for me? Do I have to take a bike? Do I, yes. what's, what's the next step? Okay, so 
one of the things that exists in our master plan, we have what we call interchanges. Mm -hmm. Marina is actually an interchange. Okay. And it's an interchange that has every mode of transportation that Lagos is able to deploy oh. in it. Okay. So there's water transportation, there's road, and there's rail. Within the road, I have the BRT, like you say, there's a BRT terminal at Marina. Okay. There's standard route buses, and then there's the first and last mile buses. So there's every other mode that you can utilize. In fact, we're also encouraging and we're implementing some non-motorized transport within Marina. So mm. we're encouraging walking. We're also <laughs> encouraging um, it's cycling. It's like a Paddington kind of station that connects everywhere. Yeah, Paddington, Victoria. Everybody that mm -hmm. connects yes. everybody there. So you can come in there and you, um, you will be able to so connect okay. other modes of transportation. And when the red line gets to Marina, yes. you will also be able to change onto the red line. So a lot of our rail systems... When the red line gets to Marina... When the blue line? Or you no, when, when the, the red line gets to, to Marina, Marina... You're going so to change to what? To the blue line. To the blue line. To the blue line. Yes. Yes. Now, does this... It goes back and forth. The, to fro, yeah. The, to, they go back and forth. It's not yes. just one way. Oh, yes. They go back mm -hmm. and forth. And do they stop... Do they have stops? So we have stations, obviously. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. So we yeah. have, for the, for the blue line, we have in total 11 stations. But the ones we're building now is from Mount 2. So we have Mount 2. I have Alaba. We have Igomo. We have National Theatre. And we have Marina. So those okay. five stations will be available. Okay. And each stop, I can change over to oh, other you places? Can, you can each get down station. out of um, Mile 2 and go to Igomo, for instance, and... Decide mm. that you are taking a bus. Yes. Okay, so for the blue line, which is under my own um, area, I have noticed that, you know, the deadline has continuously been shifted. And now that you're mentioning that the mile two to Marina, which is the one we can see, mm -hmm. yeah, I still passed there yesterday, is the one we can see is what has been completed. And that's what you're looking to start early next year. That's correct. How has funding have affected this project? It's been almost how many years now, 10 years. So how has funding continued to affect this project and how do you hope to get more funding so, so that we have, completed. we're sure of, you know, completion? Okay, let's talk about the good part, which is funding for completion. It exists already. Okay. It's already okay. been done and okay. we have paid the contractor. Okay. So the completion is not in doubt. Okay. Mm. Um, and that's the good part. Now, when you talk about um, things that have you know, sort of uh, shifting goalposts. It is. It goes back to what I said earlier that Lagos is the only um, subnational. subnational that is building a rail. Every, and I remember when the World Bank came to us, they kept looking. How do you want to build a rail system off your balance sheet? Nobody does it. <laughs> but Lagos governments have always been audacious. They, when you look at what Lagos says, when you look at the uh, population and what happens here, the only thing you can do is think about rail. Yeah. And in that sense, previous governments have been using their monies to sort of try and complete. But what um, uh, this governor has done is to apply for the DCRR funding, which is funding for infrastructure with the banks. And they have been very um, responsive and they have given us the funds. And that's how come we can say we, w we will complete. And one thing I must say is that this DCR funding is available to all. CBN have come to the site a number of times. They've been very impressed with what mm -hmm. we have done. Mm -hmm. And that has, there's nothing to hide. Everything is very visible. And CBN and the banks, they audit and they look at what so we're doing. Let me just make sure I heard what you said. So it's available to all states. So if you, well, it's available. It's but, I mean, it's not. I'm, I'm not a financier. I'm just saying that it's available. So just yeah. 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 Watch yeah. 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 Can I tell their governor? We have to can apply just, for just, <laughs> just as a follow-up on the same blue line, uh, blue line. So construction is going on on the roads, yes. on, by you know the Badagri Express roads. And then you see that they're done. Then Lamata project just sort of starts in the middle of the completion when we're about to celebrate the free roads, they start to do... I'm talking about the mile too, because, you yeah. know, when they started to build the, sta the station, they, the landing one, and the BRT section of it, I was like, ah, why didn't they work in tandem, in synergy yeah, with this, so that at once, you know, this works. And so people are also wondering now that if that mile two rail starts, or they eventually do the mile two to Okoko end, the roads will be taken over again, and it will become a mad place for the tankers and all the different uh, businesses that, you know, that place accommodates. Okay, so if you look at the blue line, you will notice that it is in the middle of the carriageway, like mm -hmm. you described, the Lagos Badagri mm -hmm. Expressway. Um, the Lagos Badagri Expressway is also being built by the Ministry of Works, and they have it's a ten-lane highway. That's what the what 
part of that 10 million says that they have dedicated the median part of it for Lamata to implement its rail lines. Now, from where we are standing, we're actually working in tandem with Ministry of Works. I would say that we have been working with them in tandem for over the years, and that's why they are not complete. They won't be done if we're not done, and we can't be done if they're not done. Um, they also, I believe, will be done end of this year. Now, going forward beyond what is now happening is that so long as they build the road and they leave us the corridor, we don't have to mess with the road. So long as the corridor for the rail is there. And the good thing about it is also that going back to Okoko Michael, the majority of that road, uh, rail will be at grade. When I say at grade, it will be on the ground. If you see what we've done from mile two to Marina, mm. when you get to Igomo, you start to rise. So all of that is elevated, but the majority of going back is at grade, so it'd be easier to um, work right. with the road okay. and without causing... Yeah, when do you say the red line okay. will start? Or first quarter end? next year? First quarter next year. The red line, not the blue line? No. As well. So we're very oh, busy. Oh, as well. So the two of them are starting, starting. simultaneously? Yes, yes, they will. So there's something that's always bothered me about you know, being, tra being traffic in Lagos is the tankers. Mm -hmm. and the containers. And I wonder if the, this would mean that we'll have less of them on the road and more of them on the rail. Okay. So if we talk about freighting, mm. understand that we are an urban rail. The responsibility of La Mata is about people. Thank you. Moving mass movement of people. Mm. But speaking to freighting, that will be utilizing the Lagos... Um, Ibadan rail lines. Okay. That is designed for, uh, for um, okay. freight yes. okay. uh, haulage. Mm -hmm. So that will happen on that rail. And we also are actually sharing. So when you talk about the red line, we're sharing the track that the uh, national uh, NRC has yeah. built or Federal Ministry of Transport has built. And we're sharing it all the way to their station, which is Lagos Station. Mm. Um, in Ebute Meta, mm, and then okay. we, will, we are building our own tracks from Ebute Meta all the way to Ebute. Right. Okay. So that's Let me talk about the waterways, because I'm, we have very little time left. I, I was hearing somewhere that we'll be having bus stops on the waterways, and I'm thinking, how is that possible? So mm, I can go from point A, like it's not like right now that we have really long stretches. Mm. Are we really going to have bus stops on the, on, the, on the waterways, okay. or just just... So let me just say, Lamata has a responsibility to plan waterways, but we don't implement. That is Lazwa. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, it's not my area of jurisdiction. Oh, okay. All right, let me Okay, so let me quickly uh, come to the issue of compensation mm -hmm. and how, you know, the, for this project, of course, some properties would have to go. Yeah. So how have Lamata handled compensation? I read sometime about one property in Yaba and how they were having issues. And then because of the Badagri Expressway, some people are still claiming they've not been compensated. Families are, you know, are still negotiating with government. So how... How are you doing this? Okay, so the, the, the red line project, we have compensated everybody. We have um, over 5,000 people have been compensated on the red line project. And we have done this in the space of less than two years because there was just this need to complete this project. And everybody that we have displaced Lagos State would proudly say that we're the first state that would not only pay the owners of properties, we have paid tenants to move out of tenanted property and also paid the owners of the property just did, to did facilitate. Move? They did. Just to facilitate the movement. the movement and also the implementation process. Now, and I know that when they were doing the blue line, the the issue they had at the time was that everybody, and it is not at the time, it is even now, even with the red, you had to demonstrate your ownership. You can't just ask for monies to be paid because everybody gets audited. Every, we all need to be able to explain how you Why have you done. Mr. Jones. Yes. Yeah. So the majority of the people that were paid, and, the, and I remember then that there were compensations made, but the one thing everybody that wanted to claim compensation had to do was prove your ownership. So I don't know what the particular issue is, mm -hmm. but I know that compensations were paid on the... Let's talk about BRT, 14 corridors. Mm -hmm. And do you have enough BRT buses? Because there was a time that we had these blue buses that came mm -hmm. in from somewhere, and then we don't, I don't see them again. It's just like they disappeared, or they've not been 
uh, put on the roads. What's the update on that? Do you have enough buses to for 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 this, or do we still need to look for more buses to bring into the country? Okay, so right now we have about one thousand five hundred buses that are running, and I'm talking high capacity okay. buses, high capacity, medium capacity buses that are running on not just the BRT routes, but also standard routes. So we have buses on the BRT routes, but we also have buses that just run around in mixed right, traffic. Right. Um, to say we have enough buses, I would not say that. But that is where we have started from. And what government has tried to do is to say, I've put my skin in the game. Let private sector come and work with us. Okay. And a number of them have come. I ha we have companies that have come, and we're looking that come next year, we will have a number of private sector bring buses into... Will they have to have the same colour? Because I, can't, I see red, I see blue, I'm thinking, which is, which is Lagos okay. State's own? So where we are headed yes. is to have regulated transportation, okay. or public transportation. So that means that if you are going to be regulated by LAMATA, because that is what LAMATA is, mm. apart from everything else that we do implementing, we're also the regulator for public transportation. Right. So in that regulation, there must be standardisation in colour. Okay. So people who would come to us and be regulated under La Mata would have to have the blue Colour. and white Are you in charge of last ride as well? Um, the lag ride. Right, yeah. Lag ride. No. Okay. Oh, that's because another... that is um, that is Ministry of Transportation. That is like an e-hailing system, isn't it? Okay. So then this is the automated thing that they used to pay in the bus. The uh, what's it called? The carry card. card. Yeah, the carry card. I mean, because now my instead they're trying to implement. I'm thinking, are you La Mata? Are you implementing it within this month? But what, 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 what's the card? I mean, uh, how sustainable is that? Especially when people want to come in to invest in this, to have those automated things, or can you? There, there are other ways. Is there ways for payment? No. The, the only way you would pay now is to use the carry card. card. Right now, as we speak, we have over 2 million carry cards out there. Oh, really? So the, it has actually gone, and people now understand it. Carry card came into uh, play just over um, circa two years ago. Right. Right? And it has been very effective. And the good thing about carry card is that it was designed and, and, and built by young uh, tech Techies in Nigeria. Oh, really? Young, two young lads who have worked in Lamata over time, wow. and then they are the ones who developed it. Mr. Yes. Governor is always very proud of them. Are you serious? <laughs> so they have, so it's like the Oyster card, you just, you, yes. you just click it on? You just, you bring your card, you load it at the terminal or wherever. We're now implementing that you can actually load it at, at shops using uh, wow. USSD. There's wow. so many ways you can load, load it. it. And when you get on the bus, you tap, and it takes the oh, value. Wow. And what are you guys feeling like? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> There's a question on Twitter. So Andrew is asking that uh, the monorail in, in Lagos, how is it going to work yeah. when there is no electricity, adequate electricity? And also is asking, how, is, there, is there plans to extend from Marina to Lekki on the blue line or any yeah. of these lines? Okay, so even the blue line will be electrified. Mm -hmm. So oh. it's going to be the third we light. Hmm. We are building our own. Yet again, Lagos is aware of what we need to do. So we're working with a... Um, <laughs> and see, that's where you do see. That's where we have to put question mark. Because one train stopped Lagos in Nigeria one time like this. No, the there, Lagos was no the Lagos. Lagos. there was no diesel. There was no diesel. They're rolling diesel. Yes. Ah, that's yeah. diesel now. So we're saying that... The so Lagos there's not so many train, different no. ways so we can... So national grid will not affect it. Collapse of we that. will have national grid and we will have our backup. A hundred percent. We have a UPS system that says that my train will not go down for one second. Okay. You cannot carry people and not have a plan in place that ensures that your rolling stock will always move. Ah, because if it breaks down, we'll be stuck in the middle of the... We are on the bridge. On the top of the lagoon. The funnel. But I'm happy that you have a backup, which is a good thing. So what, the light goes, it will just... Instantly. It's like a UPS system. Oh, have to Well done. We're looking forward to the first quarter next year. I mean, I can't wait to have that red blue line going around. Yes. Are you going to come to our side, like this area, this side? We're not even your plans at all. No, you are. This Koshofe area, you're we, not even. We have a purple line. Purple line is yes, coming. Yes, oh, purple wow. line is coming. Um, so the green to... line, which is what um, Nimat was asking, that somebody mm. asked on the. Yes. The green mm. line goes from Marina to Leki. Okay. Ah, green line. So we, we're now. well connected. Don't Lake, worry. Vegas is well okay, connected. Okay, fantastic. Well done, well done. <laughs>
Let's go on a break. That is all we can take on the show, YK. I love you. Don't want to. I believe it's a good state. Mr. Governor, good state. That's all we can take. I like Bado is a good state. I like Bado. I like Bado is a good state. It's a good state. Why are you discriminating? To do why is discriminating? Come and bring it to TV six, so I don't have to be in traffic for two hours. Please talk to your governor. Don't talk to our governor. Has started out. Please don't talk to your governor. That's all we can take. They said there's DSI. We cannot give him loan. Talk about infrastructure. She got to see that we can collect loan for infrastructure. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Thank you very much.